So this video is an update to my previous Zoom tutorial, testing with fake participants. So after my previous video was posted, uh, Zoom was updated and the functionality I demonstrated in that video no longer works. So I have a few new methods that should allow you to, again, test with multiple fake participants. And so we're gonna go over those. So we're gonna cover two techniques. The first technique is simply using multiple browsers. So you could download, for example, uh, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, or, and Chrome. And then within each of those browsers, you could use the technique that I demonstrated in the previous video, both in their normal uh, mode of operation and in their uh, incognito or private modes. And so, for example, if you had those three browsers, that would allow you to test six participants. Now that method works, but it is a little bit clunky since you have to have six separate windows open all at the same time, as opposed to in my previous method where you had one window open and then just multiple tabs for each fake participant. So we will test uh, or we'll demonstrate another method However, this method requires that you download a third-party extension into Firefox. So before I demonstrate this method, I do need to provide a, a warning. So third-party extensions can be malicious, and so it is your responsibility to do your due diligence in uh, checking out a third-party extension, looking at its permissions, and making sure that you feel comfortable with its operation and that it's safe. So you shouldn't take this video as a verification that any extensions that I demonstrate in it are safe. You need to do your own due diligence. Okay, with that said, let's look at how this method works. So here I have the Firefox browser open, and we're going to go up into the application menu. We're going to go to add-ons and themes. We're going to scroll down to find more add-ons. Then up in this right-hand corner, we will search multi-account containers. And you can see it pop up there. I will include a link to this uh, extension in the description below. And we're here, you can see the ratings, uh, you can go through uh, the permissions and look through all that. Um, for now, I'm just going to click add to Firefox and we will add. Okay, so it's been added to Firefox and we can see that it's little container button is up here. So how does this work? So I'm going to start up a Zoom meeting. So I have one going here and we are going to, just as in the previous video, we are going to uh, copy the meeting information. So we'll go down and click copy link. Minimize that. We'll come back to here. Now up in this right hand corner, we will click the multi account container button. Get started, click through all this information. Not going to sync right now and we're going to open a new container. I'm gonna use the default containers that are here. That'll be sufficient for the demonstration. Uh, you can go to manage containers and create your own containers with their own names. So I'll click the personal one and then I'm going to paste in the link. Of course, we will cancel. We don't want it to open up the Zoom link. We want to join from browser. I'll just call this test two. I'm going to ignore these permissions for now. It's not necessary for this demonstration to get video and audio working. And we'll just click join. And I'll ignore that for now. Then we will open up a new container. It needs to be different than the first one. So let's try work now. I'll paste that in. And cancel. Join from browser. Uh, we'll name this test one. I'm not sure why I named the previous one test two. And we will click join. Again, we've joined. Now, if I tab back to the Zoom meeting, you can see that uh, I'm here as the host and we have both test one and test two in there. 
we can go back to Firefox and we can continue this for as many containers as we have created. Again, you could go under manage containers and create more if you needed more than four. And we'll do one more for good measure. And tabbing back to the Firefox meeting, uh, I'm sorry, the Zoom meeting, we can see we do have, again, myself as the host, as well as four test participants. So this method will now allow you to, within a single browser and multiple tabs, uh, control multiple Zoom um, test participants. And again, you can go to the previous uh, video, which will again be linked down in the description below, and um, go through that. And I explain why you might want to do this. Oh, sorry. Uh, cat tax. Say hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Okay. And you can go to the previous video and see why you might want to uh, use this method and have uh, fake test participants. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.